Hello, my name is Vasil, and I'm part of the product management team at Pandarock. In this video, I'll be talking about how the integration between Pandarock CPQ and HubSpot works. Let me start with the basics. Pandarock offers a deep and native integration with HubSpot, which consists of a native application built into HubSpot, allowing business users to never leave the CRM, and a data integration layer that keeps objects synchronized between both platforms in real time. Data synchronization is possible across companies, contexts, deals, and line items, including custom attributes for all these objects. The most robust part is the integration of line items, which happens in real time. You can pull line items from HubSpot, edit them in Pandarock, and all the changes will be transferred back to HubSpot, either when you're saving the code in Pandarock or when you're completing or signing the document. In addition to object synchronization, Pandarock supports several other workloads, such as adding uh, items to activity logs, uploading PDFs of signed documents, changing deal stages, and even synchronizing product catalogs between platforms, so you don't have to maintain them in both places. One of the common questions we hear is, do I need to create line items in HubSpot when I'm working on a quote in Pandarock? The answer is no. When we are, built, when we are talking about a new deal, you would start with no line items. You would create the code in Pandarock CPQ, and the line items will be added to the deal in real time. However, in some cases, it is really helpful to pull line items from a HubSpot deal into Pandarock. For example, when you're amending an order or working on an upsell or renewal. In these cases, you would pull the line items from the deal, adjust them in Pandarock, and then upload them back into the same or another deal. And now let's have a look at how integration works in practice. We have here a deal in HubSpot. The stage of the deal is qualified to buy. We have one of the attributes called contract start date uh, that will be passed dynamically into the workflow. We don't have any attachments and we also don't have any line items in the deal yet. So let me start the workflow. For this demonstration, I will be using the playbook called code termination, code term playbook. I will be skipping a lot of steps as they don't really matter uh, for the demonstration. So I'm skipping the selection of the deal step. I will select the plan. As you can see, the contract start date has been pulled from the deal. And here we have the quote. The quote in this case has been generated automatically using the rules. But as I mentioned before, you can pull the line items from the deal uh, and then the quote might be preaching rated with the, with the line items and you might be editing them and pushing them back into HubSpot. And here we have the quote with the payment schedule. Let me assign the contacts and start generation of the document. As you can see in the document, we have the data that has been pulled into the template from the deal. This is the name of the deal. We have the information about the contacts. Here we have the quote and the payment schedule and all the data related to the billing information. So let me close the workload for a second and let's have a look at what has happened with the line items in the deal. As you can see, we have added one line item in the deal based on the quote that has been added in the document. Now let me continue the workload and let me send the document. And now let's get back to HubSpot. Let me refresh the deal. As you can see, the document right now is completed. 
And if we will scroll down to the attachments, we will see that the signed document has been attached to the deal. Now let's have a look at how the integration is being set up. On the screen, you can see the workload that I have been just using in the demonstration. And let's start with the very first step, pulling the data from the integration. As you can see, we have HubSpot being selected here, and then uh, the data is primarily being pulled from the deal. But the interesting part here is that we are also pulling the data from all the objects connected to the deal, meaning that you will be able to use in the workload, the line items within this deal, the contacts and the companies. Now let me show you how you can actually use this data. If you remember from the demonstration, when I have been showing the form, the form has already been pre-populated with some of the data from the HubSpot. Let me show you how this is being done. If you are switching to the data tab, here on the right hand side you can see the questions from the form and on the left hand side you can see in the drop downs the values that i have selected from the first step from the deal so basically i'm saying that the contract end date is uh, is pre-populated in the form of contract start date and payment term the same can be done with the line items uh, in the demonstration, the line items in the quote has been generated automatically using the rules, but you can also pull the uh, line items from the deal in HubSpot and you can pre-populate the quote. So here I have the line items that I'm pulling from the first step. I'm assigning them to the product lines. And I can also define the mapping between the columns in the line items in the deal uh, and the columns in a pandora court. And now let's have a look at how the data can be passed to the template. I'm switching to create documents tab. Uh, in the data tab on the right hand side, you can see all the attributes, all the variables that uh, you have been using in this, uh, in this document, in the template. As you can see, in a lot of cases, uh, the data is being uh, populated uh, with information that I'm pulling from the integration. The interesting part here uh, is how to pre-populate the uh, contact selection. So we have this special type of the attribute called contacts, and that allows you to show in the small dropdowns in the create documents tab, uh, the selector of the contacts that you can pull uh, from the CRM. The other interesting trick that I wanted to show you is the mapping of the data. So when, I, when I'm clicking on the map data step, uh, if I will select here this tab, uh, pull data from the integration, uh, it will help to automatically map all the attributes in the CRM to all the attributes that I have in the template if they have the same names. It is something that will help you with the migration from the templates to the workloads. If you already have the template with a lot of attributes uh, that you have been pulling before uh, from the CRM. Now let's have a look at how the data expert between Pandadoc and HubSpot can be set up. Right now we're looking at the template that was used in the demonstration. Let's proceed to the settings of the HubSpot integration. When I'm clicking on configure rules here, uh, we will see all settings that can be used to configure the integration between Pandadoc and HubSpot. And here are the options that we can configure. As you can see, we can synchronize the field values in Pandadoc with the deal properties in the HubSpot. For example, when someone is filling in the billing information, uh, this data can be sent back to the deal properties uh, in HubSpot. The same can be done with the uh, document variables. Uh, whenever the document variables are modified in Pandadoc, uh, this data can be sent back to HubSpot. When you are changing adding, removing the line items in Pandora Quote. All this data can be synchronized with the deal line items. You can do that when the document is being sent, when the document is being completed, or when the quote is set. And that's what we have seen in the integration. We can also synchronize the edit and remove line items separately. Also, as you remember from the demonstration, we have been attaching the PDF uh, with the a completed document in Pandoroc into the HubSpot deal. Uh, it can be done for the documents that have been sent and for the documents that have been completed. And finally, we can also change the deal stage in HubSpot based on the changes uh, of the statuses 
uh, of the document. So you can synchronize the statuses of the document to the stages of the deal in HubSpot. That's it with Rema. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.